I'm Tessa with Mama's Geeky. Hey. Thank you, ladies, so much for taking the time. Of course, for sure. I've got to tell you, my house, we are massive Descendants fans. Aww. So we're very excited to see the franchise come back. <laughs> but what was it like for you guys to join such an iconic franchise? Oh, it was just that. I mean, it's so it's so epic. And Descendants was on constantly in my household. Yeah. I, mean, I was nine when the first one came out. So I vividly remember the impact that it had on me and just the dance numbers and the songs were so catchy and the costumes looked so good and just the whole the lore I was just in from the moment I watched the first one. I was so. the exact same way as soon as you heard Rotten to the Core in the household everyone was sat down on the couch which was just <laughs> such a cool bonding experience and I really hope we're able to do that for the next generation your yeah. kids and my younger sister this is the only thing the only project that Create she thought's been memories. cool so yeah. <laughs> it's fun to be a part of. Yeah, I've got to say, you, my 11-year-old and 13-year-old are upset. I know I'm not supposed to show the screener to them, but they saw it, and they loved it. So Aww. they're already obsessed, I'm singing so the songs. That. Makes me happy. Yeah. Um, so I've got to know, what was it like doing the choreography and stuff? Because there's some insane choreography in this one. There really is. I feel like it's just been so much fun. Most of us came from a dancing background, yeah. and I feel like with dancers, you bond over what you're artistically doing. Totally. Artists in general, you bond over what you're creating. And having Ashley Wallen, our choreographer, be such a huge part of of that is he was phenomenal so doing that together I think was just such a, a fun moment to learn from yeah. yeah and so what which song is your favorite if you had to pick mm, that's so hard they're mm. all so good in their yeah. own way I mean uh, I think I'll always have a special place in my heart for red um, yeah. for sure and just filming that number was electric and um, I think it's one of the more the more darker, I mm -hmm. guess, musical numbers in it, along with Perfect Revenge, is also yeah. very, very spooky Grungy. and so grunge. Yeah. But, yeah, I don't know. I think I got to be just really reckless and have fun with the mischievousness in that number, particularly. Um, but the the downside of filming that one was that I had, like, these really, really tight um, pants and my leather jacket was so <laughs> tight. I could barely move my, like, arm up to here. So doing the dance moves was, doing like... Sometimes. I was like, can you help me? I know, I'd have to like, tell Malia, you, like, can you help me? Like, I need to go to the bathroom and this outfit's so tight. <laughs> yeah. Do you have a favorite song? Oh, favorite songs. I mean, I remember hearing them all for the first time and I was so obsessed. I think Life is Sweeter honestly holds such a big place so in all good. of our hearts. It's the one where we're all together and we all get to collaborate in that way. And you're introduced to these iconic characters, which we already fell in love with during the mm -hmm. franchise. So yeah. I think that one is just, you know, everything that people are expecting brought to life. It's like that cafeteria scene in any coming-of-age movie. Mm -hmm. Like, where's everybody sitting? Are you those the, are the jocks? jocks? Yeah, those, those are the, the cool girl. kids. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that one is that song for me. So I, that one always holds a special place in my heart. Absolutely. And I've got to talk to you guys about working with Brandy and Rita. Like, oh, what? Course. Because they're legends. So, so what was cool. it like working with them? I mean, so cool. Like I mean, iconic. nothing prepares you for that moment. You're just kind yeah. of like, wow, what is my life right now? Literally. But they were both so, so sweet. And I think that we all kind of embraced that mother-daughter roles with each other and so naturally true. kind of got close with them in that way. Mm -hmm. Especially you and Brandy. I feel like you guys are always Oh my gosh, heavily I was so happy to work with Brandy. I think we first, one of our first like times on set together was during a photo shoot and we just held hands the entire time. We were just chilling. She's exactly what you expect her and you want her to be and everything more. Her and Paolo couple together oh my, God. my heart them. no we're still like we're trying to make that happen <laughs> in real life together we're I not mean, gonna happen you never know, you know what I mean? yeah <laughs> awesome well thank you ladies so much for your time and congratulations like I said we love the movie so thank you thank, thank you so you much that. thank you nice meeting you nice to meet you guys well, I'm Tessa with Mama's Geeky. Thank you guys so much for taking the time today. Thank you. I was going to say I absolutely loved this movie. Yay. Big fan of the Descendants franchise in general. So I've got to know for all of you, what was it like joining such an iconic franchise? Oh um, crazy. I'm, I was really, really excited because I was a huge fan of The Descendants that Same. I feel like the nerves and the weight of it didn't actually hit me until the announcement was posted. <laughs> and I was like, oh gosh, a lot of people's <laughs> eyes are on this yeah. one. Yeah, so, absolutely. Yeah. Same. It's been such an honor to be a part of something that I grew up watching and that's so close to me and so many other childhoods. So I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm a part of it. I was like mm. shaking. Like as yeah. soon as I got announced oh. in D23, I was like crying on I stage. Remember, I remember Oh, I remember I know. that. I was like, cut the video, cut the cameras. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's, it's me, Dara. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, um, I feel like I, I constantly, like I, I'm never going to fully be able to accept the fact that I'm a part of the movies. Like it's not something that I'm ever going to be able to like sit and digest. Like yeah. even like our trailer came out a few weeks ago and it like surpassed 86 million views that's in a certain nice. amount of time. That's and insane. I was just like, there's no way that I'm a part of this. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's mind blowing. Like mind blowing is an understatement. And then what's it like getting like into full like hair, makeup, costume because I mean it's insane you guys all look incredible it's like little me's Aww. dream come true like little me is like watching me like oh my gosh you finally have pink hair <laughs> <laughs> immediately Love. get into character once that wig goes on yes yeah, yeah. same me with the war paint as soon as they painted that war paint I was like <gasps> mm -hmm. awoken mm -hmm. it's such a visual medium like I put on my denim and I was like oh I'm a working girl yeah <laughs> real me like real Morgan I I'm very I can be really prissy I'm not like a big fan of like bugs or the outdoors, but like <laughs> Ella, I was like, nah, I got this. A bee flew by. I was like, Psh, where? What bee flew? <laughs> this is my life. So yes. <laughs> it definitely helped. I love it. And then uh, for for Ruby and, and Morgan, did you guys get to work with like Rita and Brandy and kind of figure out your mannerisms and stuff? Or you know what, I I unfortunately didn't get to work directly with Brand. Uh, sorry, with Rita, <laughs> Brandy. Rita or yeah. Brandy. Um, I did get to meet Brandy, but I never got to meet. Me Meet Rita. Oh my yeah. gosh, <gasps> dyslexia is going crazy. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I think I just like, my biggest note that I took from Rita was obviously like she plays modern day Queen of Hearts and I think my biggest note was just like go the exact opposite of that to <laughs> yeah. like really solidify the difference between modern day her and past her. So. Yeah. And then with like Brandy, I did get to meet her. Obviously we didn't work directly together because we're on different timelines, so that would be complicated. <laughs> um, but um, I really felt like it was important to make this Ella my own because Brandy is so iconic and yeah. she's returning as a different Cinderella and a different story and so many people are going to be like eyes on her and eyes on me too that, you know, as big of shoes as it is to fill, I'm just stepping into my own shoes a little bit. But mm -hmm. I definitely did watch her mannerisms a little bit and incorporate that into Ella's soft parts in this film. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, I love it. And then what was that choreography like? Like how hard was it to learn it? Because there's some very intense, it seems like, choreography in this. <gasps> yeah. It was super fun. Mm -hmm. I love dancing, especially like when you get to be a character and like dance in oh, fantasy and so like with the costumes. Like I, I feel like we were, no, and no, literally I'm like this, like in most of my dances <laughs> mm -hmm. and I'm That's in the so air. smooth. Like, no, thanks. So did you see she's hot. Did you have it? She's yeah. hot. Yeah. Like, okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but I it was fun. Yeah, Ashley made it really easy and the process yeah. was really like fun. Yeah. Just like, Cool. Like, yeah, totally. It was the best. The best. The Amazing. Best. Well, thank you guys so much. And I've got to say, my 11 year old is already running around the house singing uh, Revenge. Hit him with oh, the revenge. Good. So she loves it. Really? Yes. Oh, oh yeah. She loves it. I know she's so. going to be like, yeah, I heard it first. Yeah. Heard it oh, she, I'm sure she will. Thank you so much for taking the time today. Yeah. I, I'm happy to be here. I'm, I'm so happy to be here. Well, I've got to ask you, what was it like when you got the call that you're going to be in Descendants? Oh, my gosh. It, it was. I've talked about this a few times today. It was an electric feeling. It was, I mean, getting getting the call from your manager, your agent that you've gotten a role is by far one of the most incredible feelings. But getting the call about that, but then also becoming one of the part of one of the biggest Disney franchises ever is like, I, like I was crying. It was, it was, I called my sister. I called my parents. My sister was freaking out, like screaming. It was, it was incredible. I mean, I, we love Descendants in my house. My girls are 11 and 12, and oh, so awesome. we're massive fans. Um, and we just watched the movie yesterday, and they loved it. Wonderful. And my my 11-year-old said she needed me to ask you what your favorite animal sound to make was. She was very, <laughs> very curious. <laughs> and, you know, that's a good question. It's an important one. I probably probably the bark. I mean, I did I played young Max in How the Grinch Stole Christmas, or I was an understudy. So I, I got to play a dog when I was younger. <laughs> so I think I brought some of that into this and it, it was fun. I mean, you know, you can there's a lot of different dog barks you can do. You, know, you, you can go up high, you can go like rah, or you can go down low like rah, rah, you know. <laughs> it was great. It was fun to be had. <laughs> I know, I was gonna say that scene actually it's so much fun. Like you're you're acting in that scene, like your facial reactions and stuff. Yeah. Like, man, that's so much fun. Yeah, that was a fun one. Being up in the tree too. Yeah, was that were you like up in a real tree? Yeah. And, you know, because of the insurance, if you're over, like, I think it's three feet it is, you have to be rigged. 
So we were like maybe like, I don't know, eight feet up and I was completely rigged to the tree. There were wires and everything. And that was cool. that was really fun. It was like an official stunt. No, literally. And I'm like, I'm just sitting here. <laughs> <laughs> that's so cool. Well, you never know, because if you fell, that would not be good. So totally. Totally. Yeah. And that's why we have the wonderful stunts crew that we did. Absolutely. I've got to ask you about all the like dances and stuff. Like how long did it take to learn all that choreography? You know, it, the choreography was hard. Our choreographer, Ashley Wallen, incredible. You guys have seen his work, Greatest Showman. I mean, we all tried to do those dances and we probably all failed. Um, <laughs> so it was it was definitely rigorous. We had this boot camp, sort of Disney boot camp for two weeks initially in filming. And we were just dancing 24 seven. We, we were sore, so sore. And we we worked it out. I, I felt like I, I got a hold of it pretty quickly because growing up in musical theater, I did a lot of dance calls where you have to learn it quickly. And I did a lot of dance as well. Uh, so it, it was so fun once you got it in your in your body just to dance and to be those characters. It was incredible. Yeah, I mean, the dances are great. But then also the outfits. That's one of my favorite things about Descendants is like the outfits. So oh, what yeah. was it like when you first became a VK? Oh, it was incredible. And we had a few like test outfits. So I was like, is this me? I don't know. And then we tried a new one and I'm like, maybe this is me. And then we got to the final one. And I was like, okay, this is Morgie. This is awesome. Uh, like you saw in the movie, I have this sort of like magical flowy, like green. I don't, I don't even know what it's called, but it, it was awesome. And then you had the cool pants and the boots and the scarf was really fun to play with, especially when I was doing flips and, and tricks and stuff. So I, I felt, I felt at home in my character. I love it. When you were doing the choreography, like when you were practicing, did you have to practice in those shoes? Because I got to imagine it would yeah. be a little more difficult. The, initially, we weren't because the costumes weren't decided. So I, I was just doing whatever shoes I had. But once we had the shoes, yeah, we were we were in those all the time. And uh, it, it, you know, it, it changed it up a little bit, but got a hold of it. Do you have like a favorite favorite memory from from set? Because I just okay. imagine being on set is very cool. Yeah, it, it it really was such an incredible experience. There's a million memories that I could look back on and just, you know, they would fill my heart. I think a really special memory was our cast bonding time, you know, when we weren't on set, even though being on set was incredible. But after hours, when we got together, that was super special. We had a, on Valentine's Day, we did a, a Palantine's brunch. <laughs> where we we got together and we we made food and it, that was really special that uh, so many great memories oh i love it was it what was it like like getting into the mindset of a vk because you had to be one of the mean kids yep yep <laughs> it's you know it's it's fun to be bad i'll put that out there I, you know i i like to think i'm i'm a good person um you know i'm kind i'm not evil you know don't get confused but it, <laughs> It's really fun to be the VK. I mean, it's cool too, like to say you're a VK, like I'm, I'm a villain kid. So it it was fun, but I think I was able to snap into it super quickly. You know, it's it it was just a very natural character for me. I love that. Now I can't. It's not like spoilery, but there's potentially more got down the line in the Descendants world. You never know when they're going to be done. So no. You know, we could easily explore your character's background. Yep. Would you be down to come back to the Descendants franchise? Oh, my gosh. Yeah, of course. You know, this world has been so much fun. And I hope I hope that you guys love it so much because I know that this franchise is huge. There, there's millions of fans out there and they know what has been and they know what they want. And, you know, I was one of those fans. I grew up on Descendants and being here been incredible and of course i would love to come back i mean my kids would love to see it i'll tell you because we were like instantly like oh there's new bk's like you know what i mean it's like yeah it's totally and it's, it's, so it's electric you know this whole new world and I, I can imagine yeah did you have a favorite song there's so many good songs in this one too oh, yeah totally i think i think probably oh i'm hesitant on this i think perfect revenge although yeah. life is sweeter is super cool as well Perfect Revenge is awesome, though. I think, like, the, they don't know what's coming when we hit them with that re Like, mm -hmm. it, it's kind of fun to just, like, move around to that. But Life is Sweeter was was super fun to shoot because we had everyone. Yeah. But uh, wonderful music. 
Yeah. Uh, it's so good. I mean, my daughters were singing it already after we watched awesome. it. I so love they're that. already obsessed. They're like, when's the soundtrack? There's going to be a soundtrack, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be awesome. You know, I'm going to be listening to it every day. And, and that's just so cool to be like, I'm part of this, right? That's going to yeah. be so cool for you. Yeah. I, I'm just so grateful to be here and to, to be part of it. Did you get to see uh, Brandy or Rita at all? Because I know you weren't really in any scenes with them. Yeah, I did. I, you know, like you said, I wasn't, which was too bad. But I, it was really funny. The first time I met Brandy, I was walking like in between the trailers and uh, out walks this princess, this huge <laughs> ball gown, like proper Cinderella walking in here. And it's Brandy. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I, I have to go say hi. Like, I have to say hi. She walks past me with this entourage of people, like, you know, Brandy's moving to set. Um, <laughs> and I'm like, hi, like, I, you know, I'm Peter, nice to meet you. And she's like, she walks up to me and she puts like her hand here and she's like, hey, baby, like, how are you? And I'm like, I'm melting inside. I'm like, so much better now that you said that. <laughs> like, it, it was very special. And I, I kind of rubbed it in to a couple of my other cast members who didn't get to meet her. Yeah. But, it was the right yeah, place. Totally right done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man. Well, thank you so much for your time, and uh, hopefully, we see more of Morgie down the road. I wouldn't be mad at it. Um, and you know, like I said, we loved this movie. We thought it was such a fun addition um, to the franchise, and I'm glad they're back. I do understand, you know, taking the time to find the right story, especially after Cameron. So, um, and I did love that they had a little nod to him at the beginning, which I thought was sweet. Yeah, so. yeah that was necessary. Yeah, absolutely. So I'm excited for more, though. I'm glad we're back. I'm glad we're yeah, back. Me too. I missed it. We're back, baby. Yes. Well, thank <laughs> you so much. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Tessa. Have a good one.